guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mindy. I just got my butcher box delivered. I, this is my first time ordering from butcher box and I thought I would do an unboxing and show you what I got. And then I did a little price breakdown comparing what I paid for this to what I would have paid if I had purchased it in the grocery store. And I'm gonna share that with you too. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, I actually ordered this last week and it was for two, it is tiny. We'll just say that much. So this is my butcher box. It was delivered to my doorstep and I opened it up and on the very top of it, it gives you some instructions about the packaging. It also lets you know that they use dry ice in their packaging and you have to be very careful about how you handle that. You should certainly never touch it with bare hands. And it just gives you some instructions for how to um, handle that whenever you are unboxing your box. So I've got that taken care of and now I'm just going to show you what it is that I got. Here it is you guys, it's all in here. So first up, I have some wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. This is two pounds of salmon and that's sockeye salmon, wild caught. I got two 10 ounce New York strip steaks. These are from grass fed beef, a five pound package of organic chicken drumsticks. These are chicken leg pieces. These are USDA certified organic, also non-GMO, which if something is USDA certified organic, it's supposed to also be non-GMO. No antibiotics ever. This kind of chicken is pretty much the highest quality that I can find, and it's very difficult to find in grocery stores in general. I also got two three pound packages of organic chicken breasts. Again, high quality chicken is hard to come by and it's expensive two pounds of grass-fed ground beef. This is 85.15, I believe. Yes, that is the same kind that I've been buying at Aldi or at Walmart, the same fat percentage. And they were running a promotion whenever I was ordering my box. So in addition to those items, I was able to get um, one package of bacon. And this is Applewood smoked, no sugar, uncured bacon, thick cut. So this was a promotional item that was added to my order for free, for no additional charge. And then I also got in at a time when they were doing a deal where you could get two additional pounds of this grass-fed ground beef in every order that I make with them during the lifetime of my membership with them. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So all in all, I ended up with four pounds of ground beef, two 10 ounce New York strip steaks, six pounds, of organic chicken breasts, five pounds of organic chicken legs, one and a half pounds of super high quality bacon, and two pounds of fresh sockeye salmon. Now the way this works is I got online, I went to their website, kind of did a little research, and then I looked into the different kinds of memberships that you can have because this is essentially a subscription service. But one of the things that I like about it is that I can cancel it at any time and I can postpone my shipments. So if I don't wanna receive a box every single month, I can go in and postpone that and I won't get charged for that shipment until the date that I set for it. I can also cancel it whenever I want. Secondly, I also like that I get to choose what comes in my box. That's the particular membership that I chose and it's about $150 for each box and that gave me the option to choose six items from their list and that is all different kinds of cuts of pork, all different kinds of cuts of beef, different kinds of chicken, and different kinds of fish, salmon, and you can also do add-ons for different things that they have available depending on the time of year. So for instance, this ground beef, this was one of my items that I selected. The five pounds of chicken drumsticks was one of the six items that I selected for myself. The bonus items that I got because of promotions that were running were the bacon and the beef. But the other items were all things that I selected for myself. And from what I understand, I can adjust what I'm getting every month. So for instance, the next time that I get a box and I already pushed my date back, I don't think I'm gonna need one next month. But the next time when I have elected for a box to come, I've got some different cuts of meat that are going to come with it. Now this video is not sponsored. This company didn't reach out to me. I just kept seeing it advertised in my social media and I decided that I would give it a try. And one of the reasons that I wanted to is because of the quality of the meat. While I was looking around their website, they tell you 
how they work with the farmers and the ranchers that are raising the meat and the fish that we're purchasing. As you can see, it's super high quality. The beef is grass fed, the chicken is organic. The pork is about as high quality as we can get here in the States. This, the fish as well is, in my opinion, um, good quality, better than what I can usually get in the grocery store without paying an arm and a leg. So how much did I pay for this and is it worth it? These types of meats, because of the way that they are raised, tend to be more expensive even when we are purchasing them in the grocery store. But we are starting to see it more and more in a lot of grocery stores. And so the other question that I had to ask myself is, is what I paid for this more or less than what I would have paid if I was purchasing this in the grocery stores that I typically shop at that happen to carry this quality of meat? Now, is it worth the money? That depends on a couple of things. First off, if you are not interested in buying this quality of meat, and when I say quality, I just mean the way that it's raised. If you are not interested in buying grass-fed, pasture-raised, organic, then no, this is gonna be a lot more expensive than conventional meat that you can buy in your grocery store. But let's compare apples to apples. These are items that in my area of the country I can purchase at various and sundry grocery stores. So how does it stack up with what I would have paid to make these purchases to get all of these items in my grocery stores compared to what I paid ButcherBox to have it delivered to my door? I think when it comes comparing dollar to dollar, the price of this as opposed to the price of what I would have paid in the grocery store, it depends a little bit on the cuts of meat that you are choosing, okay? So I think that there are some kinds of meat and fish that are gonna be a better value and a better bang for your buck, so to speak. And it depends on what the prices are in your local grocery stores and what they are continuing to keep in stock. So in order for me to get all of the items that I purchased, I would have had to go to three stores my Walmart, my Sprouts, and my Aldi. There is not any one of those stores that carries all of these different cuts of meat in this quality. So first off, I would have had to visit three places. Secondly, they would have had to actually have in stock the cuts of meat and the fish that I purchased. And I can tell you right now that Aldi has started to carry organic chicken breasts, but I find it very hard to find them. A lot of times, probably one out of every three times I go into Aldi, they might have it in stock. And the rest of the time, it's usually gone. It's just not there. So it's not consistently there. And that's a problem for me as well. Now, my Walmart does carry lots of different cuts of grass-fed beef as well as ground beef. I know that ground beef is something we're seeing in a lot of stores, but not everybody has the steaks and the roasts and stuff like that. And sometimes I can get grass-fed steaks or grass-fed roasts in my Walmart, but again, not all the time. It just depends on what they have in stock on any given day. Now I paid $150 for this stuff that you see, plus tax, but I'm not going to count tax in this equation because I have to pay tax on food in the state of Oklahoma anyway, so that's gonna be a wash but I paid $150. Now this is enough meat for me to make meals for my family for probably anywhere from three to four months. So I did a little cost comparison. And if all of these items were in stock in those three stores that I mentioned at the prices that I have seen them at, I would have paid about $135 for everything that you see here. If Aldi did not have the chicken breast in stock and I had to get it at Sprouts instead, it would have cost me $150. So if there's just one item that's not in stock and I have to buy it somewhere else at a different price, then all of a sudden that discrepancy between this service and buying it in the grocery store, it just disappears. Confession time, you guys. I was editing this video and I realized that I completely forgot to finish it. That's right. <laughs> the kids came in at some point and when I was, you know, done dealing with whatever came up, I just packed everything away and put away my phone. And I guess I thought that I had already finished the video for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I don't, I never really finished the video. So here I am, I guess, to finish it. And what can I say? I think we all probably have plenty of reasons to be frazzled at this point, but in conclusion, I think that whether or not this is worth it for you depends on a couple of things. It depends on the kinds of meats that you prefer to purchase. So if you wanna just purchase conventional meat, then it's probably gonna be way more expensive than you would pay if you were in the grocery store. And if you want to purchase this kind of meat, pasture-raised, grass-fed, organic, et cetera, et cetera, it depends on what's available to you in your local grocery stores, if they stock it and at what price they stock it. Another factor is the kinds of meats that are coming in your box. So if you are choosing a custom 
custom box like I chose where I got to pick exactly what was coming, then I think there is a way to figure out what the best value is. There are certain cuts of meat that I can choose from my options that are gonna be a better value in the long run. And some of it depends on the promotional items. I mean, obviously I got two items added to my order because of the time that I signed up. And some of it, of course, is the convenience of having it delivered to your door. For some people, that is um, a really great perk of this service, especially right now. I will say, however, in the interest of full disclosure that I went to their website today, it's March 20th today when I'm finishing this up, and I noticed on their website that they kind of had a header at the top of their website saying that they had a lot of orders coming in and that they were gonna be delaying their shipments just a little bit. So it took about a week for my box to arrive, but they were saying that any orders that were placed today would probably not ship out for 10 days. So there's probably gonna be a bit of a longer time to wait for your first order to come in than would be normal. Now, I probably shouldn't be making any assumptions <laughs> given what we're going through, but I assume that if things settle down, you know, it'll kind of get back to normal where that service is concerned and you can start to know exactly when to expect your box to arrive. So cons are, yes, it's more expensive primarily because of the quality of the meat and you really need to kind of determine based on the subscription that you choose, what the best quality is. And also that there may be a delay right now, a little bit of a lag time in when you can expect your box just because of the high demand. Pros are, if you choose the custom subscription like I chose, you can choose what cuts of meat you want. And you can also change that from delivery to delivery so you can get different things each time you have a box delivered. I like that you can push your delivery dates back so you don't have to get one every month. I like that you can cancel it at any time. Of course, I like the convenience of having it delivered to my door. And I do like the quality of the meats that they're sending me, particularly the way that it's raised. That is the kind of quality meat that I've been buying recently anyway. So, so <laughs> sorry, this is a very unprofessional finish, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out there because I posted this question on my community tab, whether or not people wanted to see it, and it has a lot of responses, so I thought I would just throw that out there. Again, I'll leave the code that I have from just signing up for you know, an online account so that I could order the box. I'll leave that in the description box. I don't know how many people that will work for, but you can certainly try it. If not, there's probably other people who have codes out there. This is not sponsored. I didn't get anything from the company. I just thought that I would share my experience with this order with you guys. And by the way, I made a recipe last night with some of the ground beef and it was absolutely delicious. I mean, I don't think it was just the recipe. I think the quality of this meat was really good. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll check in very soon. Bye.